Well, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the MIP TV show. And today, of course, with Imagination in Motion, we have a gentleman in front of me by the name, you know this person, don't you? This is Paul Barros, better known as... The Pitch, the pitch Doctor. Doctor! In unison. Did we rehearse it? <laughs> no, we didn't. And that's, why, and that's why it wasn't quite in unison. But nevertheless, we'll do our best next time, eh, Paul? Uh, close, but no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Now, so, Paul, um, you're here today, but you've not only been here today, you've been here for the last 25 years. Uh, presumably, you've gone home in between times. Yeah, occasionally I pop home just to change my clothes. But, uh, <laughs> but generally... Well, they're very nice, too, I must say. Uh, you know what? It, it, uh, you know, it's the only new material I've got. Uh, um, <laughs> Many a true word spoken in your vest. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Thank you very, very much. Good, Dave. David, that is why you are the number one talk show host in the world. Forget Letterman. Yes, I've forgotten know, him. Uh, forgotten him already. Yes. Don't, tell know, don't tell anybody. Don't tell him anybody. Forget Shh. Jonathan Ross. Shh. Don't talk about Jonathan Ross. No. We've had a very bad mo falling out. Oh, no. Yes, we don't. Well, we do, jealousy's yes. a terrible thing, isn't it, really, In the entertainment David? business. Tell me about it. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, Paul, you're here because of your brand. You are a man called the pitch doctor and you help don't you you help lots and lots of people out there to become the best them they can become is that right so uh, yes and the audience were all shouting out to me as they say help me help me they were saying <laughs> help me oh, i'm Whatever. drowning help me um, i'm drowning yeah but basically the, the pitch doctor brand is yes. all about using the psychology okay of pitching and getting into people's minds about how they they can connect better how they can get better rapport and how they can pitch better so paul i mean i'm really rather interested by this um uh, okay so we've just met you know virtually we've just met you see what i did there absolutely i don't just throw the show together it takes months of practice this you know so um what i'd like to know is um how do you manufacture, now that, obviously that's a loaded word, but how do you manufacture rapport with someone like me? Well, actually, because I'm mirroring your body language as we speak. Yes, you so, are. So, and actually, if yes, I really want are. to get good rapport, yes. I can see your breathing rate. <sighs> and I can start to go <sighs> in and out when you breathe yes. in. And I can start to match and mirror your Eyes. Well, I tell you what, let's mirror this. Mirror this, Paul. Let's just relax together. Yeah, that's cool. And then maybe let's just take it really easy back here. Okay, well, I'm going to yeah. kick back okay. because I'm already having a good time. And now match this. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. You look very much like James Bond when you do that. My name is James Bond. I'm here with Paul Barras. <laughs> That's a very bad impression which you've invited me to do. I will, yes, ne I will never do it again. James Bond meets uh, Kenneth Williams. <laughs> if only they had. <laughs> so, uh, so, so tell me, so you, you, you're, ma you're matching body position. You, that, you're matching, potentially you're matching breathing as well. I see. So yes. what, does, what does that do psychologically to the relationship? Well, psychologically, when we're in rapport with people, we actually just naturally fall into their rhythms of what they do. And so if you go to a cafe in Cannes, for yes. instance, oh, I'm and you there, notice yes. two people who are actually falling into the same rhythm. You can then say that either they're falling in love or they're falling in deep rapport. I see what you're doing. You see, we're now using our hands we're together. We're using our hands at the same time. Yes, I get exactly. it, I get it. And, but this happens naturally. And so, but one of the things that we can learn through the psychology of pitching yes. is to actually make it happen quicker, make it happen smoother. So anybody out there in TV land can use these little tricks and techniques yes. to improve the quality of their connection. Because pitching is yes. all about connection. And we should always be connecting in the best and the easiest way that we can with everyone. Now, that is a fascinating idea, Paul, because it, the, the corollary of that idea for me suggests that you might have a reasonably good idea, but unless you connect, have rapport and engage, the idea will come to nothing. That's it. I mean, the, everybody thinks that, you know, the best ideas always win. 
But actually, right. you and I know because we've been in the business for many years. And uh, you've been, don't, tell, don't talk yeah, about that, how long I've been, been in the business. You've been at the top of the business for many years, David. <laughs> and so everybody <laughs> knows yes. that actually the best ideas don't always come to the fore. Sometimes it's all about can you work with somebody? Yes, I and know what unless you're those two things match, yes, what happens is that the people will go. You know what? I'd rather do it with another company with somebody I get on better with. Which yeah. is why you and I, you know, have done so much work over the years. Oh, over the years we've done. I, I don't know a plethora. Of I work. mean, I mean, the way you presented the Oscars that year was. Just magnificent. Yes, really. I, I, I agree with you. Completely agree with you. I mean, next year when uh, Ricky Gervais moves over and does something else, uh, or and or I, I can do it. I can do okay, it. It's, yes, it's all it's mine. That's for you. Uh, I hope someone's watching this. <laughs> well, there's no hard gigs for you because you know you're the consummate professional, David. Oh dear, Paul. Oh, that's very nice of you. Uh, what do you need? Did you need a bottle of wine out of this? Uh, well, and some cash would be nice. <laughs> oh, cash. Euros? Will euros do it in large denominations? Yeah, well, actually, compared to the pound, I'll take euros every okay. time. Though. Very good. Well, Paul, Paul, as ever, it's been absolutely fantastic meeting you, speaking to you, and not only that, but getting huge numbers of golden nuggets of information from you. It's been an absolute pleasure, David. Thank you so much for having me on the show. That's very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, big hand for Paul Boros. Okay. Hey, welcome for the MIP TV show in conjunction with Imagination in Motion. That's all, folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for calling. <laughs>